I may have made a huge mistake. Hey guys, it's me again, Douglas, and I have some exciting news for you guys. Well, I thought it was exciting news, but it actually turns out to be terrible news. The news is I have become the new class president for my grade at my school. See, there was nobody who was wanting to be the class president. Nobody was running, and they needed somebody to run, and I was like, well, sure, yeah, I'll, I'll run for class president. And I won because nobody was trying to get it besides me. And uh, I, I, I got it, and then, and then once I became the class president... I got the list. There's this huge list of stuff that I'm supposed to do now. It's all my responsibilities because I'm the class president. I found out why nobody wanted this job because it comes with a whole lot of work. You see, I've got to go to these meetings and I've got to come up with ideas for how to make the school better and I got to meet with my principal and I got to meet with the other class presidents and the whole student council and I got to have all these meetings and meetings and meetings and I got to do all this stuff. And I thought being the class president meant I would just, you know, stand up on the stage every once in a while in, in General Assembly and then and maybe people would, like, clap for me or something and maybe I'd get to go first in the lunch line. But no, this comes with a lot of work. And I was, I was seriously thinking about stepping down because I'm not interested in all that extra work. I kind of just wanted to be important. You know, there's this verse in the Bible where the disciples, Jesus' 12 disciples, they were, they were kind of hassling him because they wanted to see which one of them was going to be the best disciple and they were they wanted Jesus to you know settle the bet or whatever to to tell them which one of them was the best and he said to them whichever of you wants to be first must be last he told them that if they wanted to be great that they needed to be the servant of all and you know here's the thing is Jesus is the king of kings and the lord of lords he's god's son he is god you know he didn't come to the earth to to be served by people You know, he didn't come to the earth to get, you know, a round of applause and be first in the lunch line. No, he came to save us from our sins. And on top of that, he did all kinds of other things to serve other people. Like he washed people's feet, nasty, muddy, gunky feet. And he told his disciples that the first will be last. That if they wanted to be the best, they needed to be the servant of everybody. And so, you know what? I don't think I am going to step down from this job of, of class president. I'm going to stick it out because you know what I was looking through the binder of all the things I got to do and I think there's a lot of good I can do for my class it's going to be a lot of work but I, I really think I can be a help and so my challenge to you guys today is that you and I would follow Jesus example and that we would serve other people and we wouldn't just be looking to you know be served ourselves but that we would look for ways that we can serve others that we can make other people's lives better and we can help make the world a better place Jesus set the perfect example of service for you and for me. So let's follow that example and put the needs of other people first. Hey guys, I hope you liked this video. And hey, I have kind of a secondary challenge for you guys today. I, my secondary challenge is I think that there are lots of people in our lives who are, you know, they're kind of above us. They're, they're in charge of us in one way or another. You know, it could be a teacher or it could be a parent or, you know, all these, all these people that are in important positions in our lives. And the thing is, is that it can be really hard work. And so my, my other challenge for you guys today is I would really like it if we would pray for those people. Even if you don't like them very much, you know, your principal may be the worst person in the world as far as you're concerned. But you know what? Your principal has a lot of responsibility and your principal is doing a lot to serve you. So please remember to pray for those who are working hard for you as we're looking for ways that we can work hard to help other people. Because all together we can be a part of God's plan to make the world a better place.